From the south side of Temple on the HK Dodge and Loop, our skyline where the camera showed a beautiful sunset. Sky is clear, the atmosphere is dry. We do have not one, but two, two <laughs> friends coming our way. The first one will be here tomorrow. You probably won't notice anything with it. We will get a wind shift, and that's about it. There's no rain associated with this one. And the cool air behind is not a whole lot cooler than the air that's in place here right now. Our mornings will continue to be cool because of the reinforcing push of cool air. And then another front comes in on Saturday. The high pressure has been sitting here across our area right now is moving off towards the Gulf of Mexico and the lower Mississippi. And what happens then is that opens up the door for that moisture to come in off the Gulf of Mexico. So we continue with a little bit of a warm up, a little more moisture in place for us. 25 was our low this morning. Surprise, I told you we'd just have some frost around the area. 68 the afternoon high. On average, our temperature is running uh, about 3 degrees cooler than they normally would, thanks to that 25 degree reading early in the morning. Now you look at the clear skies at 59 degrees, 31% relative humidity. This front makes it into our area around midday tomorrow. Like I said, it's just going to be a wind shift line for us. Clear skies, cold conditions tonight. I'm going to go mid 30s for overnight lows, but we could see readings as cool as 30, 31 one degrees in some of this uh, the rural area south winds tonight around five to ten miles an hour becoming northerly tomorrow five to ten lots of sunshine cool day for us with a high getting up upper 60s to around 70 degrees believe that we had 68 this afternoon, so 70 is not out of the realm of possibility for us. I think upper 60s will be the picture for us on Thursday, low 70s on Friday. It's going to be a very windy day on Friday because that second front coming in the one on Saturday a little stronger. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to bring us any rain, but it's going to be stronger and push them, the temperature readings down into the upper 20s by Sunday morning. Valentine's Day Monday looks good. 70, 73, winter in Texas, Andy. This is why we live here. Yeah, but you go 73 and then 58 on Saturday <laughs> afternoon. Yeah. A lot, lot better than when I lived in Nebraska, buddy. It's like a little roller coaster. Yes.